Why you tell a woman? Tell a woman first and foremost, call her like mine. Like, I ain't know when you hold by shim out shine by shim how cock with I want to give double honors to the apostles of great little songs we will teach well. And I already tell a woman to the elect. Alright, it's gonna be a quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yah by Shim Al Shai. And it's uh it's gonna be talking about nuclear war because that's what's coming. Okay, nuclear war is what's coming, okay? You can't avoid it, you can't pray it away. All you can do is accept it because it's going to come. And the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shai, is in control of everything. And this is what he wants for America to be destroyed by. Okay. <clears throat> so, it says here, Russia drill simulates massive nuclear strike, Moscow says. <clears throat> and we know Russia is going to be shooting missiles over here. North Korea, China, um, Iran. And some other countries because they don't like America. They don't like it, its doctrines and philosophies. They don't like how it, it spreads its uh, doctrine and philosophies throughout the whole globe and has made itself a enemy to the other nations geopolitically. Okay. So it says here, Russian President Vladimir Putin on Tuesday launched a massive exercise of the country's nuclear forces. Uh, featuring missile launches in a simulation of a retaliatory strike as he continued to flex the country's nuclear muscle amid spiraling tensions with the West over Ukraine. Okay, and Lord will, um, this war between Russia and Ukraine, all right, will bring about World War Three. Okay, it says, speaking in a video call with military leaders, Putin said that the drills would simulate top officials' actions in action and using nuclear weapons and include launches of nuclear-capable ballistic and cruise missiles. It said Defense Minister Andrei Belosov reported that the exercise is intended to practice strategic offense forces launching a massive nuclear strike in response to a nuclear strike by the enemy. So they're preparing if, for somebody to hit them first and uh, America and, and its allies, America and its allies, for them to potentially strike them first so they can be ready to retaliate. It says Putin, who repeatedly brandished their nuclear sword, uh, that's, that's crazy, it's called it a sword, as he seeks to deter the West from uh, ramping up support for Ukraine, emphasized on Tuesday that the Russian Russian nuclear arsenal remains a reliable guarantor of the country's sovereignty and security. All right, let's get some scriptures right quick. This is uh, Jeremiah 25, and I mean Jeremiah 15 and 25. It says, The Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, hath opened his armory and hath brought forth the, weapon of his in the weapons of his indignation. For this is the work of Yahweh, power of hosts, in the land of the Chaldees. Okay? All right? So the Lord has these nations, uh, Russia, to be specific in this lesson. All right? brandishing his, his weapon, all right, or his sword, which we can understand and uh, know that the Lord is in control of what these nations do, and it's the Lord's weapons, okay, all right, that they're showing off, all right. Let's see. 
or this is Isaiah 13 and 5. It says, they come from a far country, even of heaven, even Yahweh and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. All right. The Lord is going to have uh, countries that I had named earlier, Iran, China, North Korea, Russia. Okay. Shoot those swords over here, those glittering swords. Okay. Let's find that. Let me see. The Lord's going to have him shoot those swords over here, okay? And take vengeance upon Esau for a multitude of things. One, for being proud, okay? The most proud. <laughs> this is Deuteronomy 32 and 41. If I whip my glittering sword and my hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies and reward them that hate me. That's two, two thirds of our people and the Edomites and the rest of these nations, okay? <laughs> because they hate the Lord, all right? Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, that was good on that one. Let's go back to this article. It says here, oh, uh, you know what? Let me get, um, second address. It says, Woe well, be unto thee, Babylon. And Asia, and woe be unto thee, Egypt and Assyria. Gird yourselves with sack, with cloth of sack and hair. Be well, your children, and be sorry for your destruction of that hand. All right, the destruction of America is here, and the Lord will cleanse out wherever He wants to, as far as the wickedness throughout the other countries. But America is going to be the prime target. It said, "A sword is sent upon you, and who may send it back now?" When I said earlier, that's that's spiritual in the sense it says here, Putin has repeatedly brandished the nuclear sword. All right, this is the sword of the Lord. All right, it says a fire sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent uh, unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? Nobody's gonna drive away these thermonuclear missiles once the Lord has them shot out. Okay, so I'm gonna keep reading this and I'll jump back into the scriptures it says Putin has who has reportedly brandished a nuclear sword as he seeks to deter the West from ramping up support for Ukraine emphasized on Tuesday that Russia's nuclear arsenal remains a reliable guarantor of the country's sovereignty and security <laughs> taking into account growing geopolitical tensions and emerging new threats and risk is important for us to make to have modern strategic forces that are always ready for combat <clears throat> uh, he said reaffirming that russia sees nuclear weapons nuclear weapons use as the ultimate extreme measure of ensuring its security <laughs> and i seen another article uh it said that um america is losing or doesn't have as much um defense in regards to its, um, in regards to its, uh, its missile defenses because it's, it's giving them all to Ukraine or or Israel to protect themselves. That means America leaves itself vulnerable, which is cool because in the, in the book of Joel, let me grab that. says that they shall enter into the house like a thief all right all right and it says here so this is joel is talking about these missiles uh they shall run like mighty men they shall climb the walls of war like men and they shall march every one on his way and they shall not break their ranks neither shall one thrust another they shall walk every one in this path when they fall upon a sword they shall not be wounded so what what is potentially what could potentially stop a, you know, a missile or a bomb. Uh, when I was in Iraq, when I was in the army, they would have these, uh, it was some type of gun that when indirect fire came in, you could just hear it and you could just see it go do, 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 do. And it would, it would, um, shoot the, uh, indirect fire projectile, whether it be a, a missile or whatever. <laughs> Uh, and you can see it blow it up in the sky, all right? Well, if 
it's the article that I read is true. Uh, America's missile defense, America's missile defenses is being drawn out thin, okay? And once these missiles coming through to America, they won't have as many or any at all missile defense systems. So when these swords come through or when these thermonuclear missiles come through, they're going to hit their mark just like that with no problem, okay? All right, well, let's go back to this article. <clears throat> It says here, uh, Putin noted that Moscow will continue to modernize its nuclear forces, develop deploying new missiles that have higher precision, quicker launch times, and increased capabilities to overcome missile defenses. Oh, look at that. We just read about how the Lord's going to have America so, uh, you know, as missile defenses not being able to do anything, Okay. As of two, as as part of Tuesday's drills, the military test fired a Yarns intercontinental ballistic missile from the Please Tisk launch pad at Kura testing range on Kamachaka Kamchatka. All right, Peninsula. I can't say that word. The Defense Ministry said uh, the no. Volmoskovsk and Nai Nizhny. All right, some I can't say these words. So I can. Nuclear submarine test fired ICBMs from the Barents Sea and the Sea of O Okhotska, while nuclear capable two two ninety five strategic bombers carried out practice practice launches of long-range cruise missiles. So the Lord got them preparing for war, man. All right. It says the ministry said that all missiles reached their de designated target. All right. And that's that's how it's going to be for America, man. All right. Last month, the Russian leader warned the U.S. and NATO allies uh, that allowing Ukraine to use Western supply long-range weapons for deep strikes in to inside Russia will put NATO at war with this country. All right, so it's just war, man. This is what's coming up, all right? This is what's coming down the pipeline. And most of you people aren't ready for it, all right? But Lord will, uh, what comes with it, after it's all said and done, is deliverance for the elect. All right, which is, that's the Lord's will anyway. I know that for sure, but for Bugs and their families and for me and my family, you know. Um, <clears throat> let's see. This is Matthew 24. Uh, six and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilences and uh, and earthquakes in diverse places all these are the beginning of sorrows okay well you, you're reading about the war, r rumors of wars okay alright um, let's get some more out of here it says a fire, verse 4, 2 Andrew 16 and 4. A fire sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? May a man drive away an hungry lion in the woods, or may anyone quench the fiery stubble when it hath, when it hath begun to burn? The answer is no. When those nuclear missiles hit, once they're launched, there's no turning those things back. And once they hit America, nobody's going to put that fire out. Because people are going to be burning in that fire, all right? Buildings are going to be collapsing on people. Children are going to be murdered. Women are going to be murdered. Men are going to be murdered. Animals are going to be hurt. All types of things will be going on, okay? May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. Yeah, the mighty Lord, Yahweh, you shot, sent it the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? A fire shall go forth from his wrath, all right? 
these thermonuclear missile practices are parts of the Lord's wrath. He's, he's, he's giving these people the, he, they're practicing basically, all right? And it said here, it said it hit every intended target. Where did it go? Right here. It said it hit the ministry, said all the missiles reached their designated targets. And the Lord's going to have his spirit on them, uh, missiles. All right, Joel, the second chapter, you can read some more on that. It says here, a fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? He shall cast lightning, who shall not fear? He shall thunder, who shall not be afraid? Yahweh Shemashai shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to power at his presence? The earth quaketh, and the foundations thereof, the sea ariseth up with waves from deep, and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes thereof also, before Yahweh and before the glory of his power. <coughs> it says, verse 13, for he, for strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp. And shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the earth. These thermonuclear missiles, man. All right. It says, Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out until it consumes the foundations of the earth. <clears throat> like as an arrow is shot out of a mighty archer, returneth not backward, even so the plague that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return. It says, woe is me, woe is me, who shall deliver me in those days? And that's what you need to be praying for, deliverance in this time now, for the days to come, okay? <clears throat> All right, so the Lord got these nations preparing for war. Woe is edifying to the next time, Shalom.